the UN Security Council has demanded humanitarian access to the Palestinian refugee camp of Yarmouk in Damascus. One UN official described the situation for the 18,000 refugees there as beyond inhumane. The situation has deteriorated since 1 April, when Islamic State launched an offensive. Palestinian militiamen opposed to the Syrian government and some free Syrian army fighters are leading the fight against the IS militants. The chair of the 15-member Security Council, Jordan's ambassador Dinaka War, called for the protection of civilians, humanitarian access, and life-saving assistance. Delivering a report to the council, Pierre Karimbul, of the Palestinian Interim Relief Agency, said the situation was more desperate than ever. The Palestinian UN ambassador, Riyad Mansur, said that saving the refugees was his government's main priority. He appealed to member nations to relocate the refugees elsewhere in Syria or abroad. Ahmed Majdalani, an official with the Palestine Liberation Organization, said a delegation was on its way to Damascus to discuss a humanitarian corridor with the Syrian government and Palestinian factions in the camp. Another UNRWA official, Chris Gunness, said, the situation in the camp is beyond inhumane. There is no food, there is no water and there is very little medicine. People are holed up in their houses, there is fighting going on in the streets. There are reports of bombardments. This has to stop and civilians must be evacuated. Sunday's heavy fighting turned into sporadic clashes on Monday, monitors said.